So to get started with uh, the very first test in uh, the Serenity uh, framework, I've created this step-by-step -step documentation. Basically, to get started, uh, there are a couple of things uh, that uh, you would be needing, uh, like the pre-request is uh, you need to have JDK 1.8. So 1.8 uh, is the minimum version that is required. If you if you are using uh, the latest Java, then you may gonna encounter some issues because the latest Java 13 is not very stable at the moment. So I would recommend you to uh, go for JDK 1.8. This is one of the most stable version of Java. And uh, let me increase the font size. Right after JDK, uh, you would be needing an editor. So uh, 70 to 80 percent of the organizations are working on Eclipse. So you'll be using Eclipse itself. Uh, you could use IntelliJ as well, and there are other ed editors available in the market based on your requirement. But all editors that supports uh, basic Java, you can work with that editor. But Eclipse is most widely used, and it's completely open source. So you'll be working on Eclipse itself. And then uh, you, we actually need a build tool, uh, which uh, Serenity framework requires. Uh, so build tool will be using Maven. You can also use Gradle, but 90% of the companies, they follow Maven. Gradle is nothing, it's just a wrapper over Maven itself. So Maven is very widely used. In this course, we will be creating the Maven project itself. And uh, then we will be needing the Serenity dependencies. So these uh, are the list of uh, minimum dependencies uh, which are required uh, that I've already added over here. So like uh, the Serenity version I'm going to use is 2.0.81, which is one of the most uh, stable version as of today. And then, uh, like, we would be needing Serenity Core and the Serenity J unit. So these are the two dependencies. Serenity uh, framework is dependent on J unit for execution. So we'll be using Serenity J unit components itself. And then if you uh, go down, there are a couple of, uh, like, this is one of the Surefire plugin where uh, you'll be telling with the help of the fail safe plugin you'll be telling what all tests that you will be executing basically your java files where you will be having your test annotations so you'll be providing them over here now one of the rule that uh, serenity follows end-to-end -end approach so uh, the test cases should be designed in an end-to-end -end format itself so what is that end-to-end -end format? We're going to discuss about it very soon once we start designing the test cases. And then if you go down, uh, there are some goals which you need to specify while building up your project, like a goal verify. Like, like in case you have already worked on Maven, you must be knowing about Maven goals like uh, clean is there, test is there, uh, verify is there, right? So n number of goals are there. So when working with Serenity, uh, the test will be executed once you call this verify goal. And then there's one Maven compiler version, which is telling that uh, the target is 1.8. This is basically uh, your Java, your JDK uh, is 1.8. This is what you need to mention over here. And uh, then we will be generating some reports as well using this uh, Serenity uh, report. So using this plugin, uh, when we uh, like pass on the goal that is uh, aggregate, then the reports will be generated. So these are the minimum dependencies which are required to get started with uh, the Serenity BDD framework. So once again, uh, before you get started with this framework, your basic concept should be very clear, right? The basic Java programming concept, the basic Selenium automation concept should be clear to you. Although some part of it I am going to cover in this uh, framework, in, in uh, this course as well, but I'll be using the approach that is uh, designed in the Serenity uh, framework itself. Right, so we'll not be using the, the simple uh, Selenium framework and then running it. Serenity is basically a wrapper over that. 
So we'll be using the approach that uh, is actually implemented in the Serenity framework, right? So your basic concepts on Selenium, on Java should be good. And then we'll be integrating uh, the Serenity with the Cucumber part as well. And later on, we're going to integrate it with the REST APIs as well, right? So it is going to be a very in-depth course. But yes, uh, these are some of the prerequisites that you need to uh, follow before we get started. So I, I'll be adding I mean, all the lectures on how you can configure JDK 1.8 on Windows, on Mac, right? Same thing, we're gonna do it for uh, configuring Eclipse and configuring Maven, both on Mac and Windows operating system. Right, so that uh, in case uh, you are building these things from scratch, you should not uh, face any issues and you should follow all the step-by-step -step instructions given in the lectures. All right, thank you.